Hi, this is Sean. Um, we're gonna work on uh, how to upgrade this uh, E5550 Dell uh, to SSD drive. So let me show you what this has and then I'm gonna uh, show you how to upgrade this uh, SSD. SSD is a better um, option to the newer computer I think because it runs pretty quick. So let's start this. I'm gonna show you how to get to the BIOS. So press F2, keep pressing F2 when you turn on your computer. So there it is. So this computer is E5550. Uh, this computer has a 4, 8 GB, 4 GB RAM and it has a 500 GB hard drive can you if you can see clearly right there so what we're gonna do is put in a SSD drive um, it's pretty easy and uh, simple so let me turn this off and uh, I'm gonna turn the computer um, Sorry about this. Okay. All right. So what you do is turn it around. Uh, you gotta unscrew all the screws. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven screws. Unscrew them. Open this back panel. This is the hard drive right there. This is the hard drive. So you unscrew two of them, one right there, one right there, one right there, and the last one. So you unscrew all four of them. out take this out and unscrew all four sides We're almost there. So. Okay, that's out. I got SSD right here. It's a 256. You can see that 256. We're gonna put that in. Make sure it's a smaller side to the the right uh, bottom. Okay, make sure you do that. And you put the screws back up. Okay. I'm not gonna put all four screws. I'm just showing you what to, but when you do it, you gotta put all the four screws. Excuse me. All right, that's that right there. And you screw these in. I'm gonna just put one screw in to make it quicker. Uh, so when you do it, make sure you have all four screws put in right. Okay, all right, I'm gonna put the back panel in, back panel, you gotta be very careful because this do get cracked sometimes, you don't want to do that. Okay, let's 
turn this around. Okay. Press F2 to get to the BIOS. This is 256 GB hard drive. So I'm gonna sh also download Windows 7 to make it uh, show you how quick it is. So um, you X out of the uh, exit this and then press F12. Keep pressing F12 for boot menu. So I did that. It's going into the boot now. Okay. Uh, click on the USB. That's what I'm using. USB storage. Press enter. It's going to give us the main screen. We'll give us. We have to um, see how quick it went. So, yeah, it's a good idea. To especially the new computers you gotta put in a SSD drive uh, it's not that expensive anymore it used to be pretty expensive but you can get it for 128 is good enough so all right press next install now all right um, DLA, that's mean digital license activation activated already. So click next, um, accept the license, click next. And um, if there is something that you on there, you can delete it if you don't need it. And press next. So it's gonna show you, it's gonna get done really quick. So I'm gonna pause this video and uh, come back and um, we're gonna finish this and and then we'll end the video so give me about um, a minute or so um, I'll be back okay so we are back now so it's gonna ask you what uh, region you are at so you press yes uh, we are in the United States uh, what keyboard would you like US uh, skip that part if you want to then network um, if you wanted to skip the network and connect it later you can do that but let's do the connect now okay uh, sorry okay so get connect All right, it's connected. Then press next. <coughs> All right, should be pretty quick. there all right if it's a personal or organization you can pick choose uh, we're gonna do personal and um, if you have a hotmail account you can connect with that but just do the off offline account and uh, make sure you do limited experience and then type in your name press next next if you want a password you can type in the password I'm just going really quick and accept that and then uh, Cortiana accept that All right, it's gonna take a few minutes I'll be right back okay so it's uploaded um, the last thing what you need to do when you because uh, window 10 is getting uh, a 
updates so often so what you do is on the search bar you type in updates window and click on um, check for updates and uh, just click that thank you bye